Hi, my name's Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival. And today we're going to be covering the third part of the realistic self-defense. Okay, so today uh, we're going to cover um, defense against assault. Okay, so what is assault is the main question we're going to be asking ourselves. And in order, we really need to understand what is assault. Okay, the legal termination or the legal term of assault what is it okay so let's read it assault means the act of intentionally applying or attempting to apply force to another person okay so what that means is if somebody intentionally um, applies force to you or somebody else then that's assault, okay? So, what is force? Force is, could be touching somebody like that. That's force, okay? It's not much force, but it's still force, okay? Um, it could be someone punching, sh striking, okay? Pushing, um, pulling is still force. Anything where somebody is using energy on you, okay? Uh, force is also somebody throwing something at you and hitting you. That's force. Um, pushing you into something or tripping you. Anything along those lines is force. Where they've intentionally tried to use force on you. Okay. Assault is also the attempt of trying to apply force to you. So if somebody throws a punch at you and misses, that's assault. They've just assaulted you because they're, they're intentionally attempting to apply force. They're attempting to apply force. They don't actually have to physically hit you to be charged for assault. Okay, They just have to um, attempt to try and hit you. Okay, or they might try to push you, or they might try to grab you, and you move away. They've actually just committed assault on you, okay? Or it might be on another person. If somebody's grabbing somebody else, um, or pulling somebody else, um, or they've got, they're have got touching somebody else, they've got their hand on them, or their finger on them, or anything like that, um, uh, or going to grab that person, or going to push that person, or going to punch that person. They're committing assault on that other person, okay? Um, as long as, and we must remember, that that person isn't actually defending themselves. If somebody is defending themselves, and they're legally defending themselves, as we, as we covered in the last lesson, then it's not assault, okay? You can't be defending yourself legally and then class that as assault as well. It can't be two of the same thing. Okay, so if somebody's um, not, they don't have the right to legally defend themselves, then they'd be committing assault. Okay, so I'll just read that part again. Assault means the act of intentionally applying or attempting to apply force to the person of another, or basically to another person. That could be you or somebody else. All right. um, now, <clears throat> that force that they're attempting or uh, that they're applying or attempting to apply can be direct or indirect. So what that means is direct force would be uh, directly trying to hit you or directly trying to punch you or push you or kick you, okay, that's direct, okay. Um, indirect, indirect force would be um, somebody throwing a pen at you, okay, so they're not directly touching you, Okay, but they're throwing a pen at you from across the room and it strikes you or um, almost strikes you. Okay, they're intentionally trying to strike you, okay, with that force. So it's either applied force when they've thrown it, it's indirect force, it's applied to you, which means it's hit you, 
or they've um, thrown it indirectly at you and it's they've attempted to hit you. It actually misses you, it's still assault. Indirect assault could also be along the lines of you walk through a door, okay, and oh, somebody walks through the door in front of you and as you're walking through the door, they close the door. They slam the door shut and it hits you in the face or it hits you in the arm or anywhere on the body, okay? And they've intentionally um, applied force on you using an object um, indirectly, okay? So they may not have had their hand still on the, on the uh, door, um, but they've let it go and it's hit you. Or it could be um, they're rolling a trolley, okay, and they push the trolley at you. That would be um, indirect force if the trolley hit you or almost hit you. It's still assault, okay? So it's very clear that we understand what is assault um, because some people think it's only assault if you physically touch the person, and that's absolutely wrong, okay? It's not only if the person physically touch, touches you, it's even if they're attempting to apply force, okay, and it's even if that force is either direct or even indirect, okay? Assault is also um, if somebody is threatening, okay, by any act or gesture to apply such force to the person of another, okay? So if a person is threatening you um, by a gesture or an act, or an act or a gesture, that could mean somebody is standing there um, and they are threatening you verbally, okay? They're saying they're gonna punch your face in or they're gonna do something to you. That is a gesture, that, a verbal gesture that they're going to um, do something to you. Okay, so that's assault. Um, they could be standing there um, all staunch, okay, they got their fists clenched, they're all, all up and ready to have a fight, okay. That gesture of doing that is assault, okay. They're telling you by their body language that they're going to um, attack you or hit you, okay. They may not have hit you yet, but the intention is there. Okay, by their gesture, okay, and possibly the the way they're talking. Okay, so that if that is threatening, if you feel threatened by what they are doing or by what they are saying or how they are acting in any way or form, then that's assault. Okay, even though they haven't touched you yet, okay, or they haven't actually physically done anything to you yet. That is assault, and, and we need to understand that because when it comes around to self-defending ourselves, we need to understand these basics of what is assault. So it'll tell us when we can react or not, and we'll get into that shortly. <clears throat> okay, so let's read up to where we, up to there from what we've done. Assault means the act of intentionally applying or attempting to apply force to a person, to the person of another, or to another person, either directly or indirectly, or threatening by an act or gesture to apply such force to the person of another, or to another person, basically. Let's continue here. If the person making the threat has or causes the other to believe, the other person to believe, on reasonable grounds that he or she has the present ability to affect his or her, her purpose. So what that's saying is that when a person is committing assault, you need to ask yourself two questions. Does the person have intent? Like, are they showing you the intention that they're going to do you harm? 
okay? And the second thing is, do they have the actual ability to do you harm? And those are the two main, very, very important things in what is an assault. And I'll give you a, a basic scenario. If a guy comes up to you, and he's a big guy, and he is standing there like this, and he's threatening you, and he's telling you he's going to do all these bad things to you, and he's got his fist clenched, He's all staunched up. You need to ask yourself two questions. One, does he have the intention of doing me harm? The answer to that would be tick, yes. Because his gesture and the things he may be saying are telling you that he's going to do you harm. The other thing is, can he actually... Do you harm? Okay. Does he have the physical ability to harm you? And the second box is a tick. Okay. So if he has the intention by what he's doing, and he has the ability to actually physically do that harm to you, he's committing assault. Okay. And we can defend ourselves. All right. And we can defend ourselves using what force um, is necessary. Uh, or required to defend ourselves, as long as we use minimum force, okay? We only use the force necessary to get the job done, okay? As I've stated in previous, the previous video, in part two. Now, let's take it to another scenario, and let's just say an old lady comes up to us, and she's waving her umbrella around, or she's going off, and she's saying, I'm going to... I'm going to beat you up, all right? And you go, okay, is, is her intent there to do you harm? Okay, is her intent there to assault you? And you'd go, first box, tick. The second box is, does she have the physical ability to hurt you? Okay, and you'd have to go cross, no, she doesn't have the physical ability to hurt me, because all I've got to do is walk away, move over there or move over there, stay out of her reach, and she can't hurt me, okay? She can't hurt me. So she doesn't, she's got the intent, but she doesn't have the physical ability. So therefore it's not assault. She's not committing assault on me, or it may be to another person. She's not committing assault, because she, we didn't tick the two boxes. So when you're considering if somebody is assaulting you and you need to defend yourself, or if somebody is assaulting somebody else and you need to defend them, you need to ask yourself those two questions. Do they have the intention of committing an assault? And do they have the ability to carry out that assault? Okay, as in um, hurt you really. If the old lady was to hit you, technically, even though it's not hurting you, it's could be it's still classed as assault, okay, legally, but you're not going to defend yourself against that late old lady. You're not going to be hitting her back and things like that. It's completely unnecessary. But if it was a big guy and you're thinking, right, this guy's got the intent to do me harm. This guy's got the ability to do me harm. Now I'm going to hit him, okay. Um, and that leads us on to a completely different area there. Um, whether we wait for the person to strike or we strike them first, uh, which is what we call a preempted um, strike. Okay, and uh, with as far as preempted strikes go, uh, we'll get that into that um, in one of the lessons uh, up and coming. So let's just go quickly go over that again. As in, what is assault? Assault means the act of intentionally applying force or attempting to apply force to another person. That force can be either direct force or it can be indirect force. Assault can also be from threatening by somebody uh, doing a threatening an act 
that is threatening you or somebody else, or it could be a gesture that they're making um, that's threatening you. Okay, like, okay, or I'm going to something you, all right? Um, to apply force, they're making a gesture that they're going to apply force to you or another person. Also, if the person is making the threat has or causes the other person to believe on reasonable grounds that he or she has the present ability to affect his or her purpose, which means, as I said, the person that is threatening you um, has either already committed assault um, or they have the ability to and the, int and the intent to commit that assault. Okay, so the, the simple thing is being able to tick the two boxes. So when you end up in a situation, you want to ask yourself these two questions. These are the first two questions you ask yourself. One, does this person intend to do some harm to me or another person? Two, has that person got the ability to, to carry out harm to me or another person? If you tick those two boxes straight away, all right, we're going to react. Okay, we're going to do what we need to do to defend ourselves or another person, okay? And we're gonna use the force that we need to to um, achieve our goal um, of preventing that assault from continuing. Okay, so I'd like to finish that, uh, that lesson there, lesson three, and um, what we'll be doing is we'll be coming back to, uh, coming to lesson four shortly, which will be covering some uh, a breakdown of, um, how can I call it, a breakdown of prevention, preventative measures that should be covered um, in order to protect yourself um, or other people, okay, mainly to protect yourself, uh, and we'll cover that shortly. So thank you for coming along, subscribe, like, comment, and we'll get into uh, part four. Cheers.